age of 18 years of takes effect attacking fair goers inside and outside a state fair park now a new policy takes effect in just one hour the policy is as follows all youth under the age of 18 years of age will be required to be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian 21 years of age or over to be admitted to the Wisconsin State Fair Park after 5 p.m. That State Fair Park CEO Rick Frenette, he says this policy is in place to provide a safe environment for all fairgoers. Yeah, in all, 24 arrests were made in the mob attacks and seven State Fair officers were injured. Fair leaders shed some light on the attacks just a short while ago. One of our officers was hit in the face with an improvised weapon. He was hospitalized. A second officer was hit in the back of the head. He received the concussion and he was also hospitalized. The other uh, uh, five were not hospitalized and returned to duty. The foremost concern of the management of the Wisconsin State Fair and our board of directors is the safety of its fairgoers, volunteers, sponsors, vendors, exhibitors, and employees. The fair is a family oriented event and we are acting swiftly to protect the safety of those entering the fairgrounds for the purposes of enjoying the Wisconsin State Fair. The first arrest happened just before 7 o'clock. The last was right around 11. All those arrested are facing disorderly conduct charges. One person is charged with battery. News Tracker takes us to the State Fair where it all happened. It all went down at the Midway and eventually spilled outside the gates to 84th Street. Melissa McCready has more on the mob attack at the fair. Witnesses describe it as a melee, a mob attack, and racially motivated. I talked with one man who was sitting up here when suddenly a swarm of teenagers running out of State Fair into 84th Street started attacking innocent people. From what I saw, five, anywhere from five to eight kids switching off, running up on this guy. So one would kick, get out of the way, the other one would come by, kick, so on and so forth. It happened in the middle of 84th Street. A traffic blocked, hundreds of people standing around as the young victim bled from his face. Pick this guy up, he's got a I mean, his head is just mauled. He's got the size of a baseball on his head, and we bring him over here. But the attacks continued, with teens pounding on cars and knocking people off of motorcycles and throwing punches. Witnesses say it was racially motivated. It was a mob of well, four or five hundred black kids. There were uh, young black men running around uh, beating on people. And uh, we're like, let's get the heck out of here. And as, as, as the light turned, uh, I got attacked from behind. Police say several people were hospitalized with serious injuries. It all happened on the first night of the Wisconsin State Fair. Especially on the first day of the fair. I mean, you're supposed to come in, see cows and pigs, and not get beat up. As for the number of arrests, we are still waiting to get numbers from West Dallas Police and Milwaukee Police. Reporting from outside State Fair Park, Melissa McCready, today's TMJ4. And Gary Reinsvold from Sussex called News Radio 620 this morning. He said kids were definitely tar targeting some people and not others. He was one of the victims of those attacks. A group of uh, blacks were approaching me, and uh, one of the females uh, in the group. Uh, just reached out and punched me in the face. We are told at least a couple of victims did have to be sent to the hospital for their injuries. Jason Monk from Muskego saw trouble brewing at the Midway. The noise like a roar that kind of came up and uh, as I said Mike who I was with kind of point he yelled fight and we looked down towards the center of the Midway and there was just this mob that started growing larger and larger and larger. To me, it looked like the scene out of a movie. I've not seen anything like this in person in my life. It was a huge mob. And I'd say there's a fight that maybe lasted one to two minutes. Well, many callers claim there was a racial undertone to the attacks. However, State Fair Police say that is not what they encountered. Most of the fights that we had were African Americans fighting with other African Americans. We did not have any reports of, of in, our, in our jurisdiction, of any racially motivated fights. Capitol Police would not say if that was the same case for fairgoers who were attacked while leaving the grounds. State Fair security is being called into question this afternoon following the fights and attacks on innocent people. One witness says the bottom line is there were just not enough police on patrol. When I saw the amount of kids that were coming down the road, all I kept thinking was there's not enough cops to handle this. 
There's no way. There was, I mean, it would have taken the National Guard to control the amount of kids that were coming up the road. This mob attack at the fair is eerily similar to recent assaults in our area. A mob of teenagers ransacked a gas station at Humboldt and North just last month. Minutes later, several people were beaten up. All of the suspects were black. Some still wonder if race played a role in that beating. A day later on July 5th, 13 people were arrested at Summerfest following fights on the grounds. One fight was captured on home video near the Harley Davidson Roadhouse. And not even a week later, 20 men attacked a Beaver Dam boy. The 17 year old was beaten with baseball bats and stabbed. The fight eventually spilled onto the street. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett was attacked outside the state fair in 2009. However, that was under totally different circumstances. Barrett was hurt when he tried to help a woman in a domestic situation. We'll hear from Mayor Barrett on last night's matter coming up on Live at 5. Well, if you witnessed or were a victim of the mob attack, police want to hear from you. You are urged to call 414-302-8000 if you have any details about the fights at the fair. It is unclear if retailers, vendors, and others who operate at the fair will change the way they do business from here on out. We did hear reports that some stands closed early last night out of fear following the fights. Some businesses were forced to close because of all that trouble taking place. Walgreens on West Greenfield locked up early. So did a nearby McDonald's. It is too soon to tell if last night's incident will have any effect on this year's state fair attendance. We've got 10 more nights of the fair. It runs through August 14th. Well, as far as we know, the bands will play on as planned at the state fair. fair. Here's this weekend's lineup. Tonight, the group Casting Crowns will play the main stage at 8. They'll be strumming on Vesper guitars that are actually built in Germantown. Saturday night, it's Big Time Rush with Grayson Chance.